Hello all, welcome to Pioneer Programming. In this video, we will solve the third challenge of Lightning Flow module of Developer Beginner. The name of the challenge is Guide Users Through Your Business Processes with Flow Builder. Let's move to the challenge. So in this challenge, you need to create a flow that will guide users through creating a lead. So let's move to the org. So here we will type flow in the home and this is the flows we'll click on it and it will open the flow screen for us here we need to create a new flow the information about the flow is given to us like the label and the type will be screen flow so so in this flow builder screen we will select the screen flow and we'll click on create so here is the flow we need to add a screen with the label of lead screen. So here is the screen element. And the label of the screen should be lead screen. So here is the label. The API name gets automatically generated. Now in this screen, we need to add two text fields. So we will search for the text fields here. Here is a text. So two text fields are there. The first one is the last name. Copy from here and paste it here. And the second one is the company name. You copy it from here. And you'll paste it here. Now mark both of these text fields as required. So this is required and the first one we will mark as required. The next step is we need to add a create record element. So this is done. We'll click on done. Next is we need to create a create record element. Here is it. We'll drag and drop here. And the label of the create record element is create lead. We'll paste it here. Now, in these options, we need to select use separate variables, resources, and literal values. So, if we will click on this use separate resources and literal values. Now, here we need to choose the object as lead and use the screen fields to set as leads last name and company. So, in the object section, we need to choose the lead object. Here it is and we need to map the fields which we have created the last name and company which we have created so we need to map them here so here is the last name and we need to map to the fields which we have created here it is last name similarly for the country so here is the country and we need to map it to the company name sorry we need to get the company name not the company here it is the company and yeah we are done we need now we need to create a second screen element so we are done with this step we need to add another screen element here Now we need to choose the file upload screen component. So here is the file upload screen component and we need to name it the upload file. Copy from here and the API name is upload file. The upload file label is upload related files. So here it is and the related record ID is use the lead ID from create lead. So we need to choose the lead ID from the create lead. So here it is. Now for allow multiple files select global constants dot true. So allow multiple file is here. So we need to select global con constant true. 
and activate the new lead flow that is it so we are done so we have two errors here so the label and api name is required is this thing so the label is component screen we forgot to add this thing So now it is done. Let's click on done. Now we will what we do is we need to map. We will drag this thing and we'll select this thing from here to here and then from here to here and then from here to here. So this is done. The flow is done. We'll click on save. The flow label is given to us. It is the new lead. Copy it from paste it here and click on save. So the flow is saving, which we have just created. Now the next step is we need to create a new lightning page. So version one inactive last modified a few seconds ago. So this is just a warning. We are not bound to clear or clean this warning message this is good we need to activate this so the flow builder gets activated now we are going to create a new lightning page so we'll go to the home and we'll go to the lightning app builder here it is in the lightning app builder we are going to create a new lightning page these are the pages which are available to us we are going to create a new lightning page the type of the lightning page is home page so we'll select the home page from here and click on next and the label is process automation home we'll copy it from here paste it here and again we'll click on next here the next option is the template should be standard home page so select the standard home page and click on finish now what we need to do is we need to add the flow component which we have created that is the new lead flow so we will drag and drop the flow component here to this screen and in this flow component what we are going to select is the new lead which you have created so it is automatically get selected if it is not in your case then what we need to do is we need to search is here and here is the new lead component the flow component which we have created so this is done and we are going to click on save so the page gets saved and we will activate it so it will activate after a couple of minutes and this is the challenge requirements which we have done another thing which we are going to do is activate the page and assign it as the org default so after activation we are going to assign it as the org default so this is a screen which came when we click on the activation and here is the button assign as the org default we are going to click it so this is the the process automation home is the system default home page we're going to click on save so this is done we are done with the challenge so let's see whether we have done it correct or not we click on check challenge to earn 500 points so yes we have completed the challenge see you guys in the next video with the new challenge thank you